What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do an unboxing of the FIO UTWS5 uh, Bluetooth amplifiers for IEMs. Now, what I did uh, earlier is I un did unboxing uh, for the Kiwi Airs Dolce by Lin Soul. Shout out to Lin Soul for reaching out to the channel uh, and um, allowing me to review these. And I was kind of interested, they sound really great, although they're wired, you know, plug them in and everything like that, right into my phone. They sound great, like I said. But you know me, I'm hashtag wireless life. I wanted to go ahead and do some shopping around to see if I could find some way to convert these good, good IEMs, felt good in the air, very comfortable, gave me great sound. See if I can find something that will give me that, something similar to that or exactly that in a wireless form. So what I did was, did some shopping. I did find a budget pair to try it out and see how it worked as far as the fit and feel. And it felt good, very comfortable in the ear. And again, got good sound. But then I stumbled across uh, these Fio amplifiers. I'm very excited about it. I read, did some, re um, some research on them a little, and very excited to give these guys a try. So you know how we do here on unboxings here on Rhino Tech. So let's get to it. All right, we are back in the FIO W, excuse me, UTWS5. I don't know why I get that all mixed up. All right, let's go ahead and talk uh, price and specs. Uh, as far as price, you can get these for $129.99 on AliExpress.com and as well as uh, $139.99 on Amazon. As always, I'll leave links in the description below so you can take advantage of those prices. Uh, as far as Bluetooth version, they are rocking Bluetooth 5.2 uh, with codec support for AAC, SBC, APTX, APTX Adaptive, and LHDC. So you do have some high-end uh, co audio codec uh, with these. These do not have uh, noise canceling. They do have, uh, I believe they have like a, a ambient uh, sound where you can turn up and down ambient sounds. Not true. I don't consider it true noise canceling, but they say it does have it. I can say, I, I just, I don't think so. Uh, anyway, moving on. As far as the battery life, the amplifiers, you can get up to eight hours of playback time on them. When you add the case, you can get up to 30 hours of playback and the case is wire supports wireless charging. As far as water resistance, they are rated IPX4. And so you can go to the gym with these, uh, get caught in the rain, not a problem. And as far as special features, each headset, each uh, amplifier rather, has its own independent DAC. And they also, they come in versions for MMCX as well as the 0.78 millimeter two pin IEMs. Um, so once you go to order, you can select either or. I have the uh, 0.78 millimeter uh, two pin IEM version here. Uh, this is the one I'm gonna um, be checking out as far, and to continue that on, they also come with a uh, skin friendly nano coating to keep, to help with irritation. Uh, will actually help prevent irritation and everything from long-term use. They support multi-point connectivity and they have app support. So let's go ahead and get these guys unboxed and see what we have in here. All right. I was very excited about these. I wanted to explore the IEM side of things. Um, a little while, like I said, I'm hashtag wireless life, so I had to find a way to get that. Maybe I can get the same or same sound as from the wired as I can get with the wireless with these amplifiers. All right, so let's go ahead. Well, you know what? I'm about to dive into this. Let's see what's in the box first. Obviously, that's the case in amplifiers. So let's go ahead and take a look what else we got in here. We've got, looks like it would be our books and information user guide we would definitely be needing this and this is a I guess a how-to guide I have here we are here we are in English basically gives you uh, how to install your IEM ear, earbud your IEMs rather onto these amplifiers and they also have QC codes here that you can scan and watch actual videos 
All right. Of course, we're going to keep this on hand because we're going to need that later. And what else do we got in here? Let's see. All right. Looks like we've got some warranty, your warranty card and everything. All right. We'll definitely hold on to that. And we've got our USB A to USB C charging cable. We got some poison. We'll, we'll, we'll hold on, you know, keep that away from dogs and children. All right. And of course, we got a very small charging cable USB C, USB A. And that's it in the case. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get this cleaned up and then we'll come back, take a look at the case and amplifiers. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back. Let's go ahead and take a look at the case and amplifiers. We'll go ahead and get that wrapping off. As you can see, nice uh, matte finish, kind of slippery though. Uh, you got the FIO uh, logo here on the front or on the top rather on the front, you've got your LED, your recharging LED indicator in the middle and each one, each indicator for left and right ear bud to let you know that they are connected uh, or in the case and charging. All right, and on the back, you've got the USB-C charging port. Again, uh, this is a, charge, a wireless charging uh, case. We will definitely test that, but it's rather big, but of course you have to consider uh, you having your IEM still attached to the amplifiers and housed in this casing. Um, so they took that into consideration, not to mention the uh, charging battery. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this open. And there we go with the amplifiers. You got your left and right, obviously. You've got your pairing button here in the center. All right, so let's go ahead and pull one of these out. And just take a look. Let me zoom in a little bit closer here. All right, just take a look at these guys. Uh, nice, light filling uh, amplifier here. Whoop, dropped it. <coughs> Excuse me. Got your touch control button here on the end. File, your file branding on it. You got some uh, speakers here. No, I think they're noise canceling or mic speakers, possibly. And of course, you got the, the actual bending arm which you can adjust to the type of size that you want i like that again very minimalistic very very light all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and actually you know what we'll do this right here we'll go ahead and put these on and show what they look like with iems on them shout out to linso for bringing that for sending these into the to the channel so we can take a look. Um, we already did our unboxing and review of these previously. All right, is that the right one? I think that's the right one. Nope. <laughs> Let's see, that one is the left. Yep, that's the left. So we didn't want that one, we wanted the right. I don't know why I didn't even think about that, but that's okay. Let's, oh. Dropped it. Let me grab it. Okay. I went and grabbed that. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and put this on. Make sure they're lined up. Push it tight. And that's how it looks uh, right now. As it is right now, of course, you can always get uh, different IEMs uh, as long as they are the point. 7 8 millimeter i think even 0.75 might work but i would i would definitely make sure they're 0.78 millimeter iems just to make sure you get the correct uh fit on there all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and pull pop this in the air take a picture so you can see what it looks like when wearing them and here they are in the air as you can see wraps all the way around again you can adjust you can adjust the tip here or the uh, band here to make sure you get a secure fit. Fits right behind the ear. Touch control is right just in a right, really nice spot in the back of the on the back of the ear. Um, doesn't seem to flop or doesn't seem to flop around, so it stays uh, secure in place. At least uh, when I had them in 
very comfortable, very light. Uh, I can't wait to try these and use these on, on a daily basis, but I, they do feel uh, very, very comfortable. All right, so what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and get these guys paired up and then we'll move on. So stay content, stay strapped in, stay continued. Listen to me. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get these guys paired up. All right, put the IEMs on both. So let's go ahead and drop these in the case. All right, they're both in. Let's go ahead and get them pairing. Get it. Let's see. All right, we got it in pairing mode. So let's go ahead and jump into our, our phone here. S23 Ultra, boom. Already seeing it there. As you can see, let's go ahead, get that paired up. Yes, we are pairing and we are connected. So these guys, do, the pairing process, pretty simple, pretty, uh, not the Google Fast Pair that I, I like with earbuds, but I'll take it. Let's continue. All right, I went ahead and downloaded the FIO Control app for these uh, amplifiers. As you can see, I have it listed here under my devices. So we'll go ahead and uh, touch on that. And we'll go ahead and do a walkthrough real quick. Let me go ahead and grab my, my S Pen here. As you can see here at the top, you got your status, which gives you uh, the picture of the amplifiers as well as their name the battery level for both the left and right amplifier, what codec you're using, and the version. Now, uh, to keep it 100, right when I paired these guys up and I downloaded the app, there was an update, so I went ahead and ran that before jumping in. All right, let's see up at the top here, the gear, you go in, you can make a custom, you know, make custom device name, you can clear pairing, restore, uh, to default settings, you can power off, and of course, you can go ahead and check for firmware updates. So let's go ahead and do it again. Confirm, we're good, okay? And then you got, well, the upgrades, you got local upgrade, online upgrade, upgrade guide, and firmware update log. So if you, normally, if you, there is an update, you will go here, and it tells you you already have the latest version, in my opinion, so we're good there, all right? Let's just go ahead back out. Now here you have, you go indicator lights. I have those turned on. Battery protection. That basically tells you that the battery will charge up to around 85%. And when that's disabled, it'll go to a full 100%. I have that turned off because I want 100% every time I charge it. Game mode, you know what that means. We have that turned on. Now you got the change battery button function. So you can go to one. So, Function number one, you do single click for play pause or answer and hang up phone calls. This happens on both the left and right earbud. Double click uh, on the double click rejects calls on either the left and right earbud or does previous tracks uh, for the left earbud, next tracks for the right earbud. Uh, <clears throat> for the left triple click is voice assistant. For the right triple click is your ambient sound. Okay, and then of course, click and hold the left, click it once and then hold the left, volume down, click it once, click the right button once and then hold down volume up, hold for one second, powers off, powers on, hold for five seconds when powered on, turns them off. I like that setting, of course you got uh, other ones here as well, they switch them around. So you could, you do got the single, double, triple tap, tap and hold functions all working there and you got three different ways to go about doing it. I like, I like the, uh, <clears throat> I like the, uh, the choices they give you. Of course you got our idle power off time. So that's how long you want them to be on before they power off. I like to turn mine up. I'll turn mine up to 10 minutes before they automatically turn off. Then of course you can select your codec uh, you can select which ones you want them to use. I have all of them checked as APTX, APTX Adaptive, AAC, LHDC. I have them all checked so that way it will switch between whichever one I have, whichever uh, is the best um, codec to go with. All right, so then of course you got your equalizer here. All right, you got user one 
and then you could go ahead and do your, it's a five band equalizer. These are your gain here on the side. So you can go ahead and make your changes here. Uh, I'll go through and do that then. You can turn on the equalizer and then go ahead and make those adjustments. We'll do that during the sound test and everything. Uh, as far as I can see, there are no presets. So whatever you set here is what you get. All right, I think, let's go ahead and check in an audio. All right, now in audio here, you've got your balance where you can slide, you know, depending on which one, you, you know, if you have a uh, little hearing trouble with your left or right, you can slide it accordingly, which I like. Of course, you got your volume, ear, your earbud volume. You got your volume tones, the call volume. Then, of course, you got your your language tones, English. And then here's your ambient sound where you could turn it off. This turn it off ambient sound means basically their version of noise canceling. Of course, when you turn go up to 10 or up to 16, that allows exactly how a uh, maximum amount of ambient noise in. You can go ahead and dial it back to whatever you like. Um, and then that helps it out there too as well. All right, let me see. Oh yeah, we already did that, sorry. All right, now moving on to the guide. This is more, uh, if there was information here, this would give you like FAQs and things of that nature right now. Oh no, there it is, it pops up, took a little bit. All right, so here's your instructions, gives you uh, exactly, you know, the diagram as you can see here, tells you exactly what happens there as far as your battery, uh, charging your light, your battery indicator lights, if I can talk. It tells you, you know, of course, exactly what will happen with the lights and telling you exactly how much battery life the charger in case has. And then of course you got your air hooks, USB-C charging. Then you've got your, of course, again, goes right through uh, your touch control features here. How to power on, power off, pairing mode, factory default settings, the file control. Uh, so it just tells you basically everything we just went through. And that's basically it for the app. I like the simplicity of it, but yet gives you everything you need. So what we're gonna do now is we'll go ahead and finish, continue on with our testing, and then we'll do the sound test. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test out the wireless charging of the case. So what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and put the amplifier, amplifiers back in the case. We've got our wireless tar charging pad here. Let's go ahead and just set that on. And as you can see there, the light comes on and there it is, it's charging. Get that slow pulsing uh, charging light. So the wireless case, the case does support wireless charging. Let's continue. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test the mono mode feature for these, air, these amplifiers. We're gonna see if we can listen to one while the other one's in the case charging. We got Janet up, ready to go. So let's go ahead and play that. All right, got audio coming out of both ear, both uh, earbuds or both IEMs. So let's go ahead. We're gonna start with the left. All right, close the case. Right earbud is still playing. All right, let's go ahead and pop the left one back in. Oh, I hit the button there. Sorry. All right, let's go ahead and get that in. All right, we got audio coming out of both. Now let's go ahead and do the right. Now the left is still playing. Now I know these are independent uh, amplifiers, so this should, this I feel as though this test needs to be performed regardless. So as you can see, mono mode works. Let's continue. All right, we're back in. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and do the touch control fun, uh, test. As you can see, I've got my touch control sheet, sheet up. Let me zoom in a little bit tighter. So you guys can see, I got my cheat sheet up. So what we're gonna do, we got my audio, my music player here in a pop-up window. So we're gonna start with the top here. All right, so, you, so we can all see the functionality at work. 
All right, we got Johnny Gill as my uh, test subject. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to start off with uh, get a music playing. All right, I got audio in my ear. And what we're going to do is we're going to do single click. We'll play pause. We're going to try on the left here. All right, that works. Let's go ahead and hit it again. Audio is playing. Now let's try the right earbud. Or the right, right amplifier. It pauses. Hit again. All right, audio is playing. Now we're going to go to the double click. So double click on the left will take you to the previous track. Uh, double track, uh, double click on the right will take you to the next track. Now remember, double when you when you're getting a phone call, double clicking on either one will reject the call. Just like single clicking, single clicking on it when the call's coming in will answer. All right, so let's go ahead. Double click on the right earbud. We're gonna start there first. Go to the next track. Well, I guess I'm at the end of the line, so we got to go to the left. All right, double click on the left. All right, start it again. All right. All right, for some reason it's not working there. Let me go ahead and try it. All right, I think I'm not in my uh, playlist here. Let me make sure I'm in my playlist. No, I'm not. All right, that's that answers that question. All right, let's go ahead and get into my playlist. Sorry about that. All right, we got him all down here at the bottom. All right, now let's see if we do it this time. All right, left, now we in, okay, now it worked. I wasn't in my playlist before, but now I'm in my playlist, so now I went back to the previous song when I double clicked the left ear to earbud or amplifier. I gotta get used to saying that. Let's go to the right amplifier, double click. It went to the, my, my next uh, track. So it does work. It was me, it was a user error on that portion. I was not in my playlist, so it didn't automatically cycle through. All right, let's continue on. Tri uh, triple click the left will give me my voice assistant. Let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three. What's the weather outside? All right. All right, that works. It went through. Came back to my music. I like it. All right, so now we gonna go ahead and triple triple click the right amplifier should give us the ambient sound mode, ambient sound adjustment. Oops, hold on. All right, music is playing. One, two, three. All right, ambient sound. I could definitely tell it's uh, been turned on. So now I can hear myself. I can hear my surroundings. So I'm not yelling. So that works. One, two, three. All right, now ambient sound is back on and I could definitely tell the difference. All right, so let's go ahead and move this up. Let's see what else we got here. All right, so we got click the left button and then click and then hold for a second. Should lower the volume. So let's go ahead and try it. Click and hold. Now, the volume is going down, however, it's not showing on the indicator that usually pops up here, but the volume is definitely lowering. All right, now let's go ahead to the right. Click and hold, click once and then click hold. Now the audio is coming up. Right. So it is working. All right, actually I maxed that out. All right, let me see if I can show you. Well, it doesn't show it on here, but the audio within the amplifiers has increased. All right, turn that down a little bit. Then of course you have tap and hold 
for a second, we'll power it on. And if it's powered off, tap and hold for five seconds, we'll turn it back on. Well, we'll turn it on. If it's powered on, tap and hold for five seconds, we'll turn it off. So the touch functions do work. I like the fact that you got variety. Let's continue. All right, we're back in. What we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna try the multi-point function uh, for the, or connectivity function for the uh, UT5, UTWS5s. So what we do, we go ahead and get these out where they're connected. All right, let's go ahead and make sure they're connected to, to my phone. They are already connected to the phone, as you can see here. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and per their instructions, we're gonna go ahead and turn off our Bluetooth to the phone. We're gonna put them in pairing mode in the case. As you can see, the case is in pairing mode now. And we'll go over to the Tab S8 Ultra, go into Bluetooth. We're already scanning now. We have them down here. Let's go ahead and pair up. All right, it's asking to pair. We'll go ahead and pair. And now, as you can see, let's get the camera, the light glare out the way. You can see that they are paired up to the, to the tablet. All right, so now let's go ahead and turn back to the phone. We're gonna turn Bluetooth back on. All right, Bluetooth is up. And let's go ahead and connect. And see what we get. All right, so now, as you can see, we cannot get it to connect to it. It will not connect. Let's go into our, well, no, they're not, it's not here. So we'll stay here. We'll disconnect it from the tablet and connect it to the phone so we can verify the firmware version. All right, so now we are connected to the phone now, not to the tablet. So let's go ahead and to the app. Now we are in firmware version 1.5. So we go into our guide, actually we go into, not our guide, go to the upgrade and we go to the update log. We're gonna let this load here, version 1.5. Zero adds new function of Bluetooth multipoint. Can connect to, to both, to two devices at once. Obviously, this does not work. Let's continue. All right, what we're gonna test now is the ambient sound mode. Obviously, we have bad weather here uh, right now, so we're gonna uh, create some um, ambient sound here. Um, here on the workbench where we're gonna go ahead and test uh, and see uh, exactly how their ambient sound controls work. Right now, as you see at the bottom, I have it maxed out so that way I can hear everything right now, even myself talking. All right, so what we're gonna do is we got some uh, crowd noise queued up as if you're at like a bar or something. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that on. All right. So now we got our crowd noise going on. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go ahead and uh, triple tap on the earbud, right ear, right amplifier. I don't know, I gotta get that right, right amplifier. All right, now it's went all the way down to zero. And I still get some ambient sound coming in. I am sitting back away from my audio source. So I still get some in. So it does filter out some ambient sound, but not a lot, okay? But again, this is with no audio playing. So I'm quite sure when you have audio turned on, it will very much improve 
uh, the block, the ambient sound being blocked out. So it does, it, it's a no, I would say it's poor at best. It's not noise canceling, so we have to, it's not actual active noise canceling, let's put it that way. So we have to take it for what it is. So uh, I guess it works, especially when you add audio to it, you should be fine as far as noise canceling. Let's continue. All right, we are back in. Now, uh, what we're gonna do now is the sound test. And right off the bat, let me uh, apologize. I did make a couple mistakes here. I did say earlier when I was going through the app that there was no presets. They are, if you tap on where it says user one here, you will get a list of presets, not to mention any up to three uh, you, uh, custom controls there. So what we can do is we're gonna go ahead and go through some couple songs and we're gonna try out each of these presets and the custom uh, preset that I've created, which leads me to my second apology, is I said that there was a five band equalizer. It's actually a 10 band, but you got to go ahead and swipe over and you get the other five. So two apologies owed by myself on this one, my bad on this. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna go ahead and jump into uh, our first song. You know how we do old money. Where's he at? No, I don't know. I went right past her. There it is. All right. So now we at our optimum listening level. All right. Now I'm going to triple tap on the on the right amplifier to get us in and the to turn off ambient mode. All right, ambient mode has been turned off. I could tell a little bit of a difference there. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and get our audio started. All right, let's go ahead and kill that. Now we'll go ahead and go through. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and try the jazz preset. All right, already jazz is up. And as you can see, these are the settings for jazz. All right, again, not as loud. All right, let's go to pop. All right, this is the pop setting. All right, again, it takes away a lot of the takes away the bass of it, but you still got the uh, vocals. All right, let's go ahead and rock. And you can definitely tell the difference in sound between them all. All right, and here's dance. Again, the, the bass is missing and everything out of these. But then, you know, you got the mids and highs, and they sound crystal clear. They sound really clear. R&B. Again, now it seems like you got a little depth between the lead vocalist and the, and the uh, background singers. But still, again, no bass. Let me see. All right. I, I try turning it up a little bit on the amplifier because these presets automatically does that. So, but again, still, you're not getting the bass. You still got crystal clear vocals. They sound really good. Let's go to classical. Again, change, a total change in sound as far as your background instruments go. But one thing remains the same is you get crystal clear vocals on these. Let's go to hip hop. All right, again, it opened up. This is probably one of the better sounding uh, presets that they have. You got that almost like a V. This is what hip hop looks like. All right, let's go ahead inside. And then of course, my version. Sweet Jesus, I gotta turn this down. <laughs> All right. 
And yeah, mine, I had to turn mine down a bit. Again, it's a lot brighter and everything with my setting. So again, very clean, clear vocals. These sound really good if you can get the right tone, to, the right setting as far as your equalizer goes, where you get that good balance and everything. These things sound really, really good. Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna shorten that real quick. We'll go back out. We're gonna start back with jazz again. All right. And we're gonna keep these at this volume level because when it comes to mine, blows you out, man. It really does. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go to you and that. T -Pain, uh, E40, T-Pain. All right, now you got bass. Yeah, it isn't even using this. All right. Turn it up a little bit. All right, you got that, you're feeling bass here with jazz. All right, let's go to pop. Again, pop takes away the bass. You got some of the bass, but you got a lot more uh, vote clear, mids and highs. You got, that's what you're really seeing, but bass is there a little bit. All right, let's go to rock. All right, now the bass comes back a little bit more prominent in this one. All right, let's go to dance. Now the bass has a little bit more depth, a little bit more punch to it here. I like that, the sub bass rumble is there, it's, uh, it's nice, it's nice. R&B. All right, now you still got a little bit of bass, but it's, pr uh, it's definitely pushing forward the mids and highs for the vocals. Sound, again, still crystal clear, classical. Kind of, uh, muffles the bass and everything, but you still got good vocals. All right, hip hop, here we go. Now that is, now the bass is really punching here. It's real powerful here. Sounded fantastic. All right, I love it. All right, let's go ahead and, and we're gonna get ourselves ready for this one. Whoops. We'll get ourselves, uh, used to this we're going to turn it down just a bit no we're good all right let's go ahead and try mine Woo, man that's loud oh man that's loud <laughs> again with my personal settings i got that nice powerful bass and that sub bass rumble sounds really really good All right, so let's go ahead and get to our final song here. We're gonna, first let's go ahead and get back to the jazz. I'm gonna start off there. Let's go into Kenny G. All right, here we go. We got Kenny G up. Again, nice warm sound for him. All right, here's the, lead. the saxophone sounds real crisp here. I like it. All right, let's go switch over to pop. Sorry about that. Battery failure, had to swap one out. Let's continue. We are in pop right now. Let's go ahead and get that audio going. Again, a nice, again, what, uh, a really good setting for this type of song. Very clean, cr uh, very clear. Here's a high note. Yes, yeah, so nice. All right, let's 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 go ahead and go into rock. Uh, okay, and then you can tell the subtle difference there. When it comes to this type of song, there's really not much of a difference between pop and rock uh, settings, even though if we take a look back, they're all right let's go back to rock okay i can say the bass is a little bit more on the rock side than it is it's more prominent on the rock setting than it is on the pop let's go to dance all right again similar to rock but just gives you a little bit more uh a bass all right let's go ahead with r&b 
Mm -hmm. R and B. Again, if they, like they, all these for like your, if you're listening to like soft jazz or some instrumental music, orchestras, things like that, these settings will work perfectly for you. There's got to be one. Now this one you can definitely classical. You can definitely tell how they muffle the sound on this one. Okay, you can definitely tell the difference. All right, hip hop. All right, and widened out. Definitely, you can tell. Definitely tell the difference between this and classical. Well, but you gotta. There isn't. There is a difference there. Um, but like I said, if you're. These are great if you're listening to just instruments. All right, now here we go. Let me get myself ready. <laughs> All right, get myself ready for mine. All right, perfect. All right. Okay, again, wide open sound. Very clean, very crisp. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to make some changes though. Uh, but it does sound really, it sounds really clear. I, I'm really enjoying it. These are, I, I love the detailing in the, in, when it comes to these, uh, these amplifiers. I love the fact that you can do that with them. All right, you know, I'm starting to ran on into my final thoughts, but let me go back to the songs. All of them were crystal clear, very clean sounding, uh, but the presets, you could definitely tell the difference um, in it, but I do like the way these sound. So let me go ahead and just roll over and over to my final thoughts on these, and then we can, can finish this conversation. So stay strapped in. All right, we are back in with my final thoughts on the Theo UTWS5 Bluetooth headset amplifiers for IEMs. Uh, I I have to. My thoughts on these are the sound is great. I love the fit and feel of the amplifiers when wearing them long term. They're very light on the air, so you don't get that pressure or anything like that. Um, my only gripe with them is the fact that the multi-point function does not work. Um, they get outside of that, they give me everything I'm looking for. Oh, I close it. When it comes to uh, the sound and everything like that, of course, yeah, it doesn't have actual noise canceling, but ambient sound controls combined with uh, listening to music really uh, does um, take care of the issue of, of not having uh, act the actual act of noise canceling, but that's fine. Uh, but again, the one thing, the one other reason, as out of besides you know interest in trying them with IEMs, is the fact that they said these things have multi point connectivity. Um, I followed the instructions and even off camera, I did try it one more time following in their instructions, factory resetting, then re making sure I'm up to the 1.50 version, which I am as far as the firmware upgrade, and then connecting to my phone, and then connecting to my tablet, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So um, hopefully Theo will come out with an uh, update that will fix that feature. Um, I'm glad that they were interested in putting multi-point on these because that is something that all these Bluetooth devices really need to have coming in. They really need to be able to connect to multiple devices at once. Uh, that's a that's that should be mainstay uh, here in 2023, especially late 2023. All right, again, I got on the rant there, my bad. I'm sorry. Uh, I will be looking at getting some uh, better IEM uh, ear earbuds. Uh, I think I could get more uh, a more complete sound out of them. I mean these go these do sound good I'm not taking I'm not saying that they're they sound poor or they're not giving me the what I need out of but they do I think uh, I can get a, a clearer sound on a probably a more expensive pair I really don't want <laughs> honestly I really don't want to go out there and spend so much money on just IEMs uh, I've seen the prices on them uh, ridiculous but I digress uh, 
I really do like this. I will, I will keep these in my rotation because I, I do like the functionality of them. I'm just hoping that Fio comes out and fixes the uh, multi-point issue uh, with these uh, transmitters or amplifiers, excuse me. All right, do I recommend them? I, I would recommend giving them a try, yes. If you're, uh, I mean, granted there are some uh, other budget pairs of Bluetooth uh, uh, transmit or amplifiers for IEMs. You can go that route if you want to, that's perfectly fine. Um, but I, I, I wanted to really wanted to try these and give them a shot. And I recommend trying, give them a shot. You might like them, um, you might not. It, it, it depends on your, your cup of tea, but I will definitely be keeping these um, in, my, in the fold for me. Um, because I just like to rate this sound and I think I can, once I fine tune, I'll be able to get it right. All right, so <laughs> enough of that going off on the, on the rant on the rant there. Um, I, if this has been an unboxing of the FIO UT WS5 Bluetooth headset amplifiers for your IEMs. Again, this version I have here is for the 0.78 millimeter two pin connect has the connectors they do offer an mmcx connector also so when you go out onto the websites again i'll leave links in the description below for uh the where you can get these make sure you select the one appropriate to the iems that you uh have that way you can get them uh plug them in and enjoy immediately all right again Thanks for, if you, excuse me, first before I do that, if you like what you see, go and hit the like button. If you uh, wanna join me as I do videos like this and others, um, you know, unboxings like this, uh, the Gauntlet series, subscribers suggested and requested videos. I've got some uh, live streams coming up. I got some more earbuds coming in. So that's gonna push my live stream back a little bit because I wanna get those out and get them unboxed and re put them through the gauntlet and everything like that. So that's pushing that stuff back, but I got them coming in. You're gonna really enjoy those. Um, I will see, I got some sound, I got some one mores coming. I got the new Bose earbuds, they're coming. The uh, Quiet Comfort Ultras, I got them on the way. I got the Jabra Elite 10s on the way. We got a busy time coming up. All right, again, if you, again, subscribe and hit the notification button, that way you're notified when videos for those and these and other things come out. Also follow me on Trent, uh, Threads, Facebook, Instagram, and I'm thinking of, I'm missing one. <laughs> I always find I'm missing one. All right, uh, that's how I said Facebook, Threads, Instagram, uh, Twitter, or X. Follow me on all those, that way you'll be notified there as well when videos drop and everything. That way you can always tune in and check me out. And please, go ahead and subscribe. I know most of you guys don't, but I now appreciate you guys checking out the videos, but go ahead and subscribe and join the group, join the family. You know how we do. I like to hear from you guys as well in the comment section. Again, again I like to thank you guys for coming out. I'm done rambling, <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.